Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Downs. Hi, everyone. I'm Susie Sud. Tonight, family and friends gather to remember a man who was a son, a father, and a grandfather. He was shot and killed last night in Compton. Tonight, KCAL Line's Jeff Nguyen joins us live from the Compton Sheriff's Station with the latest on a vigil and the search for the killer. Jeff. Susie and Peter, detectives at the sheriff's department, don't have any solid leads so far. And tonight, the victim's family says that he was gunned down while trying to plea for peace. Miss Santos, he always came to my sports and my thing. Nine-year-old Roderick Johnson says his father was a hardworking man who took care of his six children and three grandchildren. This picture of him falling asleep with his shoes off with one of the kids in his arms is how his mother wants to remember him. I'm going through a grief, you know, and I'm in a lot of pain. A candlelight vigil was held at the corner of North Wilmington Avenue and Brazil Street in Compton Friday evening. This is where 48-year-old Rodney Johnson was shot and killed one night earlier. Relatives say Johnson went to a home nearby after his son got into an altercation with another boy earlier in the day. Johnson's family says he and his son went over to make amends with the other family. They thought the beef was squashed as they walked back to their car. But relatives say someone ran up and shot Johnson several times in the back. And obviously somebody did a cowardly snake move or ordered a snake move and that's what took place. The Compton Sheriff Station says the shooter ran down Brazil Street before anyone could get a good look at him. Johnson's son had to watch his father die on the street. In the meantime, his youngest child has a message for the person who pulled the trigger. He should not have did that. My dad was doing the right thing. Johnson's family says that he had worked as a security guard at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle. And tonight, they are asking anyone who might know anything about this case to reach out to the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. Now back to you. What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Rowe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like the video if you appreciate the content that Poe Rowe and What's the Numbers I am providing. Today, we're back with a profile piece. This one is on White Boy. In this video, we're going to talk about his early years coming up in California. Then we'll speak about his gang ties and history, which included some jail time. After that, we're going to look at his affiliation with the rapper The Game and his brother Big Faze, and how a situation White Boy had with Big Faze will go viral. Then lastly, we'll focus on the latter part of White Boy's life, which ended with him being killed in his own neighborhood. White Boy, real name Rodney Johnson, is from Compton, California. Growing up in Compton back in the 80s and 90s was serious, as the whole city was filled with gangs. White Boy grew up playing multiple sports and was actually pretty good, but gangbanging ended up taking up most of his focus when he became a member of the Cedar Block Pie Rules. According to some familiar with the area, White Boy is one of the OGs of Cedar Block and put in a lot of work dating back to the 80s. Throughout the years, he did get locked up a few times, and during his time in jail, he went by the name Big White and was well respected. Although well known in his area, White Boy will gain some internet fame in 2007 when a video of him punching Big Faze would be released. Big Faze, who was the older brother of the rapper The Game, had brought another rapper by the name of Spider Low to his block to film a diss video aimed at the game. Big Faze and the game were in the middle of an internal beef, and Faze at the time thought that was a way to get at his brother. White Boy took it as disrespect and ended up socking Faze, knocking him to the ground for bringing Crips to the Cedar Block Compton Pop Rules neighborhood. Next, White Boy dropped a short video explaining why he did what he did, and that was pretty much the end of it as far as on the internet. Allegedly, the game showed White Boy some love after the fact also. During the years following, there were a few different stories out there concerning White Boy, ranging from alleged drug use, doing some jail time, and working securities at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Some also say at one point he fell on some hard times and was even living out his van in his old neighborhood. But then, in 2017, White Boy will be back in the headlines after he was shot and killed on Brazil and Wilmington Street in Compton. The story that came out was that White Boy had gone to a home in the Cedar Block Pavru turf after his son got into an altercation with another boy earlier that day. He and his son went to the home to make amends to the other family. As they walked back to their car after the meeting, relatives say someone ran up and shot White Boy in the back several times. He died on the scene with his son looking on. The sheriff's department said the suspect ran down Brazil Street before any witnesses could get a good look at him. White Boy was 48 years old at the time of his death. 
But yo, it's What's the Numbers TV. That was a quick profile piece on White Boy, a.k.a. Big White, real name Rodney Johnson. Now, you know, he's a father of six, grandfather of three. Was known as a big homie, OG of the Cedar Block Pie Rules. Well known in his area, his neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people know White Boy. Also, during the whole big phase and game situation, White Boy allegedly took the side of the game. Now, some people say it was over. It was for money. Basically, the game, you know, bribed him with some bread. Or maybe he really was standing on business about Crips being on his neighborhood. In his neighborhood. Who knows? But after the fact, you know, the game did show him a little love. I guess he was going out to Game's crib when he was living in Gardena, wherever he was living at. Going out to his crib, hanging out with the game after the fact. So, some people took it as like, you know, the game threw him a couple of dollars to do what he did. I don't know if anything came behind it. It was some internal beef within the same gang. So, it probably just, you know, maybe the fade or something that took place. Or maybe it didn't. Maybe he just, big phase, got his this discipline on the block that day. And left it at that. Now, I know Spider Loke had a few things to say about Big Phase after that. Like, damn, you got... You know, basically, like, he wasn't who he said he was after, you know, being that he got socked out for bringing him over there. But, you know, Big Phase did do a, um, a hundred, hundred e and t after that. Still was dealing with other rappers like Little Sody. Also, when Bosco was rapping, Bosco that be all on the internet. When he was rapping, he was he was messing with on um, 100ENT. E after that whole situation with Bosco happened in Inglewood, he was messing with um in Compton and all that messing with big face so you know he continued to do him i think him and game had kind of like got back together squashed their issues they might have had other issues stem i don't know if they're on good terms or not right now but i know they had been on good terms after the fact but i know they had issues again after the fact so who knows what hopefully they're on better terms today i'm not sure though now he got killed almost exactly 10 years after he initially first went viral you understand it was in april march he got killed around march again also Basically, 10 years after the fact of first hitting the internet with the whole situation, he got killed 10 years right after that. Now, it was um a lot going on with the game. You know, the game was a popular big West Coast rap at the time, blowing up, basically putting the West back on his map. He was a gang member, you know what I'm saying? They tried to say he was Crip before and all that. And, you know, Big Phase and White Boy, their situation is a part of game story. So, it's part of a bigger story. You know, the game is part of G-Unit and everything, his beef. So, it's a part of that whole situation. So... That's why I decided to do a profile piece on Big White, a.k.a. White Boy, real name Rodney Johnson. I hope y'all appreciate the content. It's the only place you're going to get a profile piece on White Boy out of Cedar Block Power Rules. Shout out to the whole West Coast. You know, anybody that rocks with Wisdom TV from out there, we appreciate y'all. You know, this is a profile piece on somebody from Compton. You know, we like touching all over the maps. Now, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You want to sell to say 97,000 strong. We're on our way to 100K. Follow my co-host, Batty Bills. Follow What's The Numbers TV on Instagram. Any business, poll roll, what's the numbers at yahoo.com. And on that note, I ain't going to ramble too long. And this one, I'm out of here, man. Poll roll, what's the number TV. Peace.